Thank you for joining a read aloud story. The Word Collector by Peter H. Reynolds is highlighted in October of the 2023 PRC Saltillo calendar. This story is read using the TAP strategy to encourage conversation and interaction with the AAC learner. The words we encourage you to model this month are OMG, does, me, to, we, can, and a few others. Let's take a closer look at how to model these words and tap your way through the story. The first step to tap your way through is to pick an activity. We've already done that. We're reading the book, The Word Collector. Next, you decide how often you will stop and tap. For this story, we suggest tapping after every page of the book. So, how do you tap? First, you talk about it. We suggest modeling the message, OMG, or oh my goodness. You can say, oh my goodness, OMG, OMG, that's, or whatever else grabs your AAC learner's attention. Next, you ask a question and wait for a response. We suggest modeling the word does. Some things you could say are, why does he, how does he, what does he do next? Then you acknowledge their response. This month we suggest modeling the words me and too. You could say, me too. Me too, I think. Yes, me too. Or whatever else feels natural. Finally, you propel the activity forward or predict. We suggest you model the words we and can. You could say, yes, we can too. We can read more. We can keep reading. Enjoy simply listening to the story or tap your way through the story, demonstrating words and locations for the AAC learner on their technology. Find other words that are interesting to the AAC learner and use these words in other activities. Join us as we read about Jerome and what he creates with his words. The Word Collector by Peter H. Reynolds The Word Collector Collectors collect things. Some people collect stamps. Some people collect coins. Others collect rocks. Some collect art. Some collect bugs. Others collect baseball cards. Some people collect comic books. And Jerome? What did he collect? Jerome collected words. He collected words he heard. My trip to Peru was perfectly pleasant. Certain words caught his attention. He collected words he saw. Certain words jumped out at him. Willow. He collected words he read. Certain words popped off the page. Emerald. Short and sweet words. Spark, bloom, drift, dream. Two-syllable treats. Treasure, motif, 
whisper, candid, hover, glimmer, and multisyllable words that sounded like little songs. Geometry, guacamole, kaleidoscope, wonderful symphony. There were words he did not know the meaning of at first, but they were marvelous to say. Aromatic, vociferous, effervescent. There were words whose sounds were perfectly suited to their meaning. Tyrannosaurus rex, torrential, molasses, smudge, bellow. Jerome filled his scrapbooks with more and more of his favorite words. Jerome's collections grew. He began organizing them. Dreamy, science, sad, action, poetic. One day, while transporting them... Jerome slipped, and his words went flying. As he began to pick them up, he noticed his collections had become jumbled. Big words next to little words, Sad words next to dreamy words. Jerome began stringing words together. Whisper, symphony, electric piece. Words he had not imagined being side by side. Savor dreams. Cascading stars. He used his words to write poems. He used his poems to make songs. They moved, they delighted. Some of his simplest words were his most powerful. I understand. I'm sorry. Thank you. You matter. Jerome eagerly collected more and more of his favorite words. The more words he knew, the more clearly he could share with the world what he was thinking, feeling, and dreaming. One breezy afternoon, Jerome climbed the highest hill, pulling a wagon packed with his word collection. He smiled as he emptied his collection of words into the wind. He saw children in the valley below scurrying about, collecting words from the breeze.
Jerome had no words to describe how happy that made him. Reach for your own words. Tell the world who you are and how you will make it better. Peter Hamilton Reynolds The End